third rate content. Morton Corbett Castle, April the 15th, 2018. Let's go have a look round. So third rate content here at Morton Corbett Castle. This castle was first established in the 12th century by the Tourette's family. It's a fortified manor house. The Tourette's were of Saxon descent. They refortified and remodeled the timber manor house into stone after the 1200s, 13th century. The, the castle though was passed on to the current owners, the Morton family in about 1239. Still owned by the Morton family to this day, but managed by English heritage. By the 16th century, the castle was remodelled into the new Elizabethan style in two phases, as you can see here. The Elizabethan kitchen. I suppose this would have been cooking area. Lots of stones, rocks, probably from the castle. Discarded here. Been here how many years? I don't know. The stone gate house, although looks medieval, was part of the initial Elizabethan redevelopment of Morton Corbett Castle. They just wanted to echo that the castle had been a functional fortified position in its past. Although by the Elizabethan era, it was not really necessary, or not at all necessary anymore. Elizabethan wing of the castle it was developed by Robert. It was influenced by European architecture, as you can probably see, a lot more ornate than the earlier Elizabethan redevelopment. And um, sadly, he didn't live to see the completion of his project. He died of the plague in 1583, sadly. And he was left to his brothers, Vincent and Richard, to complete the project. During the English Civil War, Vincent Corbett, another Vincent Corbett, was a, a royalist and the castle was, was damaged in fighting, although not really a fortified real castle, it was still involved in the Civil War and damaged twice and set on fire twice, um, quite severely, but though it wasn't the actual end of Morton Corbett Castle just yet. After its damage in the Civil War, the castle was repaired, but unfortunately it had to be sold to pay off war debts. So it was another Morton though who bought the castle and uh, finished paying for the repairs. huge window in its day. So what sort of castle would be a castle with it, a ghost story? Well the ghost story we've got is a Paul Holmyard, the Puritan. And the Puritans weren't were having a hard time at this time in the 
in, 17, in the 1600s. And um, the Lord of the Manor was taken in by Sir Vincent Corbett, the guy we mentioned from the Civil War. And um, he's been persecuted. But eventually his extremist views just became too much. He was becoming a real pain for Sir Vincent. So he threw him out. You know, he'd done his good bit and home yards really hadn't repaid him and he made life a bit, a, a bit miserable for Sir Vincent so he threw him out into the wilds of Shropshire. Um, after a month or so of living rough, home yard returned to Morton Corbett Castle and he just stood outside the window over here cursing the castle, he just stood down there the castle and said that another generation of Corbett's would never live here. Well, the civil war happened, I was partially right. This was an incident, I was words kind of rang true. It sounds nice anyway. A little bit sketchy but let's have a look. Paul Holmyard, are you here Paul Holmyard? No, Paul Holmyard is not here just yet. So that was Morton Corbett Castle, the third rate content perspective. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next third rate content.